Gamete transfer. After the formation of gametes, male and female gametes must be physically brought together to facilitate fusion, fertilization. In a majority of organisms, male gamete is motile and the female gamete is stationary. In few fungi and algae, in which both types of gamete are motile, there is a need for a medium through which the male gamete moves. In several simple plants like algae, bryophytes and pteridophytes, water is the medium through which gametes transfer takes place. A large number of male gametes, however, fail to reach the female gametes. To compensate this, loss of male gametes produced in several thousand times the number of female gametes produced. In seed plants, pollen grains are the carriers of male gametes and ovules have the egg. Pollen grains produced in anthers therefore have to be transferred to the stigmas before it can lead to fertilization. In bisexual and self-fertilizing plants, example, peas, transfer of pollen grains to the stigma is relatively easy as anther and stigma are located close to each other. Pollen grains soon after they are shed come in contact with stigma. In cross-pollinating plants, including dioecious plants, a specialized event called pollination facilitates the transfer of pollen grains to the stigma. Pollen grains germinate on the stigma and the pollen tubes carrying the male gamete reach the ovule and discharges male gametes near the egg. In dioecious animals, since male and female gametes are formed in different individuals, the organisms must evolve a special mechanism for gamete transfer and coming together of gametes is essential for the most critical event in sexual reproduction.